Good evening, comrades of the APC. Today, on the 19th of December, 2021, and the time now, now three minutes past seven o'clock. This is the APC online diaspora, online TV, and uh, me and comrade Owen Kasu. They are with me co-hosts, we and a comrade Sweet Bonita. Today we get a very, very important topic for deal with. As we all know, in the last few weeks, we get topics that also we really deal with, we get for do with um the midterm census with the power regime, 
being try for push down with throats, create a lot of problems in the country, and forcefully declare them without going through the correct protocols. And then the international community um, frown against that. Opposition parties then come together and talk against that. And um, we party with an APC party, take them position, strong position, that they're not going to support, they're not going to be part of it because they don't see the gerrymandering game where they want for play to make them gain advantage for the 2023 elections. All the plans where they don't put for let them stay in power, we are not even able to serve the people of Sierra Leone from when they come to power. Everybody don't see them. So the opposition party don't go allow this for happen. We don't say this now complete rigging of the coming elections. By now, we already talk about new dates within the fix for the 2022 um, local council elections and chairman elections, but we'll not get the dates there yet. But they are talking about midterm sens census about developments where they come for coming people there. Then people are so long about three years, going to four years now. Uh, we don't see no development in the country. So, so killing, human rights abuses, and lies. So for letting country, we say they can't begin cons for no that forget um, benefits and stuff like that. I find that very, very funny. But anyways, that aside, we we got to go back to very important that we talk about um, the corruption will really continue in this regime from when they come inside power. Um, corruption and then flagship campaign tool where they use so that they can chase people them, can stop the leakages and then come around, sack a lot of people them for let them bring them some kind of sanity in the country. What we continue to see huge, huge, huge corruption that take place in the country from the top level, from the presidential office, right down to the least people there, where they employ in them, MDAs and stuff. And today's topic are the Auditor General's reports. We all see about a few weeks back, we, we understand see, the Auditor General be under serious pressure from this government about the receipt they wait and pull for the audit report. We know correct, we know fake receipts them. We all see the pressure we the Auditor General be under for making all put certain figures them inside that audit report. But because not the only, not the single institution we don't left that the entire Sierra Leone we they're not able to tap into for try for twist the arms them behind them back for make them do what in them want then fed all can we they're not able the auditor general as we all know the international community don't come in a salon they don't can tell we about the corruption where they happen at the police, the parliament, the judiciary, NEC, and most other um, institutions then. We see a lot of problems. The complaints that we MP that the complain, we members them, and the parties then, the opposition leaders and the complain. Now the international community don't see them blatantly, for say this government not ready for govern the people of Sierra Leone, they continue for the violate the rights of the people and the citizens and try for, you know, um, bring the institutions them back into the way how they think, how they want to run this country. But the Auditor General, winner Lara Taylor Pierce, standing ground along with the deputy, um, we say then suspend them in a deputy a few weeks ago. <clears throat> that non-stop day, 
can say that they form a committee for investigating the woman. Well, according to the protocols, the feminine form a committee first for investigate that committee day now in the qualify an investigation. Then they recommend an investigation. We will follow a suspension. But no, they suspend the woman following an investigation. We don't know when that investigation did start. They didn't just suspend so no more. We don't know what they happen. And that is just in time for make the woman come out with the audit report. Well, now we don't see an audit report. Would I release that audit report? What in danger are the audit report? Is another thing we will go for can discuss now so today. But whether or not tell up yes in audit reports that one day, or not whoever in audit reports that one day, whether or not the original or the doctored one, there is a colossal amount of billions we missing, we misused by this government and the people of Sierra Leone deserve from home. We don't tender this thing in the parliament. We all notice say, the SLPP parliamentarians them, they refuse for making them discuss this matter, making them debate in the parliament. But with me today, I want to introduce one of the senior comrades we serve in Sierra Leone, the public service under the former government, we instead of a victim of sacking, the rampant sacking that we don't take place in Sierra Leone. We then are also with which they can talk to me about this audit service. It's no other person, but Mr. Kolifa Kuruma, we are the former chief of immigration in Sierra Leone. But before I make late tell you now, I do. I want to let Bonita come live quickly. May just tell we come with them, I do. And then from there, we go introduce Mr. Qualify again. Sweet Bonita. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, compatriots. And just wanted to say today is a very interesting topic. And I can just appeal at this minute, we can share because this is something that is good for all of us, including Cerulean as a well. whole. Thank you very much, sweet Bonita. Behind the scenes, we get Mr. MMB Wenamu Bangura. Um, we get Mr. Delwin Thomas. We get Arun Pape. We get the London Parrot. When I'm Mr. Mufti, within the social media, they spread this um, um, flyer all over the place. We get Dr. Denke. We get Manso. We get, yes, Professor Delwin Dutwi. Everybody else, everybody, everybody. Um, we get super mad, we get the prints. You know, these people are working very hard behind the scenes for bringing this platform to this level inside this. So we get Mr. ABS. We said, don't join we when at the branch um, project coordinator. So don't join the team for make sure say we are moving good. So um, if I can stop there, I just want to bring in Mr. Kolifa Kroma. Make you say hello to comrades. Over to you, sir. Comrades all, and all Sierra Leoneans, I greet you now all. Me na Alpha Khalifa Koroma, the former Chief Immigration Officer of Sierra Leone. Thank you very much, Mr. Alpha Khalifa Koroma, the former mm -hmm. Chief Immigration Officer in Sierra Leone. Um, please remind me how long you served for at the, at the immigration. Um, without much ado, me and I are one of the longest serving chief immigration officers of that country there. I served for 10 years, a decade wow. Of, wow. Admin, of administrative leadership at the Immigration Service at Sierra Leone. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I might just raise my own volume small. I think my volume will be down. <clears throat> okay. Right. Um, comrades. Una, we don't join we right now on the platform. I will encourage just like we sweet Bonita say, let we share this wide. Let we share the link wide. Make people they're able for viewer. And also people that don't begin to join in now. 
and uh, they hope say we continue for the share um, all over the place because um, very important topic we we the discuss now. So today we get for do with Sierra Leone. This institution are you responsible for make sure say then check how Sierra Leone money, how did they use with money, with taxpayers money, how the governments they use them. Of course, we all know say the most popular presidents we the known at the world for fly fly around the world. Now President Bio. And he don't declare to we say, if not course, he will continue for fly. So, and we know how much he collects per day. We know say he gets high commissioners them around the world, he get ambassadors them, embassies them around the world for representer. But no, it they move every single day. It they land today, take off tomorrow. It land today, take off tomorrow. So we don't know say, the man way they in defiance of the complaints of the people. If a president would listen, if I've been probably coming and talk, say, okay, well, make a stop for spa, for fly. Even though that cry, they don't become so loud. They don't re-echo over and again that the country, but he's in defiance. He come out loud and talk, say, he will continue to fly. Well, for all the flower, the flower, don't know what he don't bring for me. Don't know whose kind of package we don't bring for me. But every time he talks, say, they go for go take something for come. Now, now one can count the people of Sierra Leone for come tell them say we benefits they come. We don't know when benefit get for come for the past four years. We not see nothing. But anyways, uh, we go left and give we senior comrades in for talk and talk about this. We are also expecting um, our eloquent um, voice, the global voice of APC, very soon. It will join me soon when uh, the Mohammed ninety one CC. We go for join me very very soon. So before we go into that, um, Mr. Kolifa, um, you did now at the UK, you, do, you see what's in, what's in the app on that the social media recently, not so? I follow some. <clears throat> yeah, they follow. You they follow some. Okay. Yeah. You, you notice say, um, the audit reports don't come out, not so? That's correct. Yes, fantastic. Well, um, me, I'm not quite able to put me, 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 me eyes on the figures then because I see um 113 billion leons and they see 149 or 40 something billion leons we don't know which is which but to be honest whatever amount it is the figure is a record break in Sierra Leone for the first time in history we see that like, amount of money then they say that misappropriated money by this government we find them very hard for for comprehend at this moment what's in your young reaction to this way here thank you very much <clears throat> um first and foremost as a public servant we don't work within you know the governance system the governance structure of any administration particularly that of the previous one i have a confess lara taylor pierce now one of the most sincere hard-working professional or this was general would I ever get in history. I they say so because me and I one of the respondents to a very many audits, management findings, and questionings we don't ever be forwarded to the immigration service for 10 consecutive years. And I can tell you, they can always send in the external auditors where they can embed the institution for like a month or a month and a half. Where then they won't want almost everything. And I can always give them unfettered access into everything where they need. And again, most importantly, then get the internal auditor where they embed that the immigration system. When I amend the SAPP man. Hmm. <laughs> that now the man were always responsible for the demand. Every little document we in need for making submit to audit Sierra Leone. That is where the transparency begins in my own time. Mm -hmm. And because he's a Mende SLPP guy and it's called Sandy, mm -hmm. and I'll get one hesitation for give orders to all of the various heads of the unit. So the various sections then for letting give them unfettered access into all of those documents we need. Okay. So that when external auditors, the team of Lara Tiro appears, they can't for can embed, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. him na in the lays between immigration and them because they all that they speak the same language mm-hmm. and even interfere okay and i can assertively state now today for say because of the management responses what i can give when they don't can do their findings i don't think Khalifa Kroma under the immigration administration had ever been found wanting. What am I saying this? For make approved to us in the woman in, 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 in right, in professional function or right to do for make it audit each and every institution of government right from the top to the bottom. So it's not in strange. If you get the courage for make it go in for face the findings with the general don't make for respond to them findings then they you forget the courage but if you don't get the courage you want for use authority just because now you not they are the helm of affairs you are suspect of one of the th- two things then where i believe say the people are interested in either legally you're responsible or you're morally reprehensible for your actions Mm. So Lara Taylor Pierce should enjoy that overall. And let's, let's not forget, the only person we can give Laura Taylor Pierce the absolute power for making it delve into any institution of government that President Ernest Koroma in time. Right. Because the former, the, the late President Ahmed Tijan Kaba had only wanted for make all audit findings to be discussed at cabinet. This man a nature of transparency and accountability when he took over the reins of power, he said now for present the audit report to parliament so that the people then will understand how the taxpayers' monies are being expended, yeah. are being utilized so that people them will not use them appropriately, go give an account of their stewardship. And that is what has been happening in the 10 years reign of Ernest Koroma. What is wrong for this current administration to have used the audit reports of this lady some 13 years ago, eight years ago, 10 years, nine, nine, 10 years ago, then they tap them on the shoulder for having done a very good job, but now they fall foul with this particular woman simply because they try to expose, which if you know they exposed in the previous administration where the former president not be threatening them at all. There is something that is beneath which did not happen, and we need for no why. And I'm pretty sure this does add insults upon injury. Thank you. Indeed, thank you very much for that first response day. I just want to make a sweet bonita tell me, um, let me welcome the members there within the um, social media platform right now. For the then self, let we know see um, they're listening to Kolifa and then they follow the program. Sweet bonita. Um, like to say good evening to Solomon Gebu Vajawa and Abu Bakr, Delwin Thomas, Arun Pape, Melbourne Gura, Sheikh Mans, and Prezo, Germans, Catherine Hingers, and Abdullah Kamara. These are the people. And we've got a first question also we have here from Mohammed Kamara and also Haji K. And we have questions already. <laughs> okay. In the Solita General Report and stuff. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Let's let's do you want to hold for that for a moment and then we can come to those questions. Do you want me to go on to them right now? That's fine. Yes, I don't mind at all. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mind at all, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, here, first of all, the first one says welcome. That's from Aaron Pepe says, welcome, our gentleman, admirable most in our party, Mr. Kulifa Kroma. And also here, yeah, the first question is from Darwin Thomas. It says the question has been the, uh, the general report. Is it politicized or why? This is a recent phenomenon. And also we have here from Sheikh Mans, says the suspension of the auditor general from, from office was a strange and to doctor the original copy so that the public will not be aware of their fiscal indiscipl- indiscipline. Then here again, we have from um, Mo Abies. It's like looking forward to talk to you. 
And then Pablo Steven says, good evening. And then here we have Mohammed Kamara says, APC is the only political party with development um, policies. And then here again, when you were talking, this is from Abu Bakai says, what do we want to say now? What do we want to say regarding the Auditor General? Because before, as we said, she has been there from the past, they were hailing her. All of a sudden now she has become a bad person because she's trying to bring their day leanings out. So okay. that's another question from Abu. Okay. okay. All right, before um, somebody the echo on that, so um, if they meet everybody commuting themselves, um, may I can just introduce um, the eloquent brother, comrade, um, Muhammad 91, to say the global voice of APC, the Maori, na the P, our team, na the, na the, na, 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 na the UK, where he represents we, na the PR, and then we left we are go na Sierra Leone, go join the PR team na Sierra Leone as well, so it did do very well in our town right now. So welcome, my brother, 91, to say. Um, uh, hello, hi. Um, uh, the name now uh, Mohammed 91 CC, top the uh, global voice of APC. Me and the PR of APC UKI, and I'm also a member of the national publicity team of the APC party. Um, uh, I'm here today for a whole dialogue with them, um, viewers and listeners of the TV media platform. A fantastic platform. We don't mobilize all efforts and strength to reach the message out there to promote issues beneficial to Sierra Leone. I want to tell you thank you on behalf of the national publicity team. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed 91 C, the global voice of APC. So um, before we come in to the actual program proper, I just want to share a video we well an audio we um come out from BBC where Umaru Fofana described the, the, the manner in which he, he, he described the, 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 the audit reports and the small response from the Minister of Information, the talk we say. So maybe listen to that and then we go kick off from that. One minute. Focus. The controversial audit of Sierra Leone's finances. The audit service is releasing its annual report and it does not make for pretty reading for a government that has boasted that it is serious in the fight against mismanagement and corruption. It comes just after the suspension of the country's respected Auditor General, Lara Taylor Pierce, who authored the report. The government defended her suspension, but it raised the alarm for professionals within the country and further afield. From Freetown, Umaru Fofana has details. The 562-page document is a damning report by all standards. The auditors have given a qualified opinion, which means an unsatisfactory fiscal management performance last year. The report reads that the fish in the country's waters are being misappropriated. The prison inmates are victims of mismanagement. Hard-working university students are overtaken by those who can afford to bribe lecturers, and the rest of mankind are starved off by people who have their hands on the till. The roots of the alleged malfeasance seem deep and the branches wide. The reports found across virtually all public enterprises and commissions that there were irregularities in taxation, inventory, and unretired expenditure. Some payments could not be accounted for. These alleged irregularities amount to nearly $4 million. Additionally, cash losses also account for more than $11 million, enough to finance the procurement of free healthcare drugs and other essential medical supplies for the entire country, as well as cover half of the budget to feed children in schools next year. Crucially, it takes a deep dive into the office of the president, especially on overseas travels involving the first family. Impressed for various travels, the audit says, was not properly retired. It calls for the monies to be paid back to the state, not least because the retirement receipts were marred by what the report calls discrepancies, inaccuracies, and inconsistencies. So what does the government say in reaction to the overall audit report? Mohammed Rahman Suare is a government spokesman. We just received the audit report yesterday. We are studying it. And as a government which has a strong foundation of transparency and accountability, we will 
act on all legitimate recommendations. What this report shows is clearly it, it undermines that track record which you are emphasizing on. This report is very sensational. I have seen um, amounts allegedly not accounted for, which are now being mistaken for amounts that have been embezzled. said, the documents held by some vote controllers were not available at the time. Nobody is a criminal yet. The audit is a process. People still have time to establish their reputation, to clear their names, and to establish the fact as they are. It doesn't put the presidency in a good light in terms of giving account for, for fiscal goings on there. The president does not handle resources. So there are people responsible for managing resources in the presidency. As long as there are legitimate allegations asserted by the audit report, appropriate actions will be taken to ensure restitution, to ensure that these situations are remedied. Civil society has expressed concern over the report. Ibrahim Tommy heads the Center for Accountability and Rule of Law. It is certainly shocking. You would have hoped that by now we'll be making significant progress in terms of managing our revenue as well as public expenditure. But the report clearly shows that there are still significant gaps and there are still a lot of areas that we need to focus on as a country. The government certainly needs to take public financial management a bit more seriously. What do you make of the, the details about the office of the president? Obviously, that is, I guess, um, the highlight of the report. My hope is that the office of the president will put out a, a clear statement explaining how those transactions were made. In particular, the report notes that certain payments were claimed to have been made, but upon verification, the payments were not done. The Anti-Corruption Commission is set to have a busy Christmas. In a press release, it says it has started immediate examination of the report, assuring that it will work speedily by addressing the issues without favor. Okay. Comrades, welcome back. Um, this is not the APC UK and Ireland um online tv platform when the voice of the diaspora for the apc and uh, they are so with um the former chief of immigration when uh, mr alpha qualifa kuruma alongside the global voice of apc mohammed 91 cc and of course the sweet bonita we are the co-host and in the background we get more bangrua and um the team the media team the planning team so um come again we don't listen, we don't hear these um, reports from this gentleman, we are the BBC man, Umago Fofana, and we don't hear the response of the minister. We see he described him as a sensational. Nobody has committed a crime yet until they're proven, and I don't know how far they want to go in terms of investigating this. As of now, they're even refusing to debate this in parliament. So I don't know what's going to happen. But here we are, but realistically, we don't get over 100 and whatever, 40 something billion leons missing. So what thing would be your first reaction, Mr. Mohammed 91, she said, before I come to Mr. Khalifa? Mohammed 91, on mute. Um, uh... Thank you very much. Um, I want to appreciate um, uh, Omar Fofana in reports. Why are they appreciate um, Usually for presenting an effective argument, you do draw reference, cognizant to the opposing argument then you present in rebuttal. And why Omar Fofana? Because here it seems to be the only person where we get access to the other people, them, the other sides, them when the SNPP government and then as opposed to the public. The public now we get the civil society, the opposition party them and every other person to include the international community. Here, um, uh, the audit report is described as being sensational. Um, law broken down as something we get a lot of excitement and attention to the public, if I make them understand. But most significantly, my own position, now that tip of the bat's eye report, I just want to bring to the knowledge of the public, which we understand. In the first place, the original reports 
presented, we prepared by Lara Taylor Pierce. We then get a gist from within because according to the rules, then Lara Pierce no need the permission of anybody for making publish them to the public, other than the public parliament and the media. Than the, um, uh, you don't need the permission of the president, anybody for making it go ahead for do that. But within the organization, it is believed there are malls, few more we tell they say this report is very damning for Uda. And as such, they were proactive in getting rid of Lara Taylor Pierce for the purpose of interfering with the reports. The original report with Lara Taylor Pierce prepared was a 663 pages report, not a 562. So where the 101 pages that we're missing from the report? Mm -hmm. Why, yes, we believe that now. We know that. <clears throat> like we say, it won't be long. We say self good do the people of Sierra Leone the justice for produce this report to them. Let them know say this. The report presented to parliament, then call on the Abdulaziz report. This guy, you know, even gain so name. My name Abdulaziz. Who is Abdulaziz? We will bring that to Una as the show the unfold. Um, uh, so if Lara, Lara Pierce no need permission for release this, and this report you don't make the report. Why? I know she is, she's been under suspension, but why then you not release them instead of you wait for uh, some some kind of Abdulaziz Kandwa? Okay, thank you very much. If I know say, um, then get a platform where you present the report to the people of Sierra Leone and that platform in a parliament. Mm -hmm. And you get editors that really go through for those subject and verb agreements, those small, small proposition. And then they even within themselves and they audit the report itself for make them, for make them go, you will defend that effectively should anybody attack this report. So you get for go through several hands within the, audit service here in you. And as such, some of them people there and are the people there with this government plant for making them go able to tell them what's up in there. So, so when they get an are, AP... Are, are, are the audit service in the work? I go touch Abdulaziz at a fine time within the place. Like I said, so I just introduced the name Abdulaziz and this is the person who presented the report now to parliament. And I will come and uh, later during the show for me, I will explain who is this Abdulaziz. I don't cloud the people out too much information. Okay. The first thing I would like to do, and for just tell the people and say this report is missing by 101 pages and that instead of Lara Taylor Pierce, uh, Abdulaziz present this report now, and this report, the uh, missing, and then also Natru say the report sensational, it gets a lot of excitement and this don't captivate real interest and that we are going to get to the bottom of this. As a political party, we need present an effective opposition. We need to just come for say, no, 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 anything where SLPP do. If you're not good for the people, they reflect the views of the people, the majority at this country. We are the largest political party in this country. We need reflect the views of the people. We need hold consultations and engagements with everybody, all the stakeholders to include the international community. Then we will come officially for me to present William's position in respect of this very report, the Abdulaziz report. So this uh, 2020 report where Abdulaziz present, not only Lara Taylor Pierce, the person we get the mandate, the constitutional mandate for present this report. And we believe say this report is missing in pages them. There are certain things they will forgive when or not get inside this report. And because this report get for go through several hands them, the SLPP be able to get a teaser as to which thing they go on and then come in and act fast by suspending Lara Taylor Pierce. So then go we'll prevent them from <clears throat> presenting this report to the public. Remember, parliament is a representation of the public, the people of Sierra Leone. Each and everybody, every individual, to include me and you, where they talk, so we get representation at parliament. We belong to a constituency. And then are the political heads, not the constituencies, and we not the constituents them. So when you present anything to parliament, not to the public, you present her. And that now one platform, we then get for do. And now the foremost platform that the will are at Tilapia, they go first before you use any other um, forum or forum. 
in respect of that. So I can pause there for now. Okay. And, uh, Fantastic. Observe. So um, thank you very much for pausing and we will wish to see you. I don't know how far you don't settle. I know you'll be the travel, you just come in, but it will be nice to see you, um, you know, let the audience know that this global voice of um, APC, Mohammed Nanti wants to say, make a come over to Mr. Khalifa Kuruma. You don't listen to waiting um, Mohammed Nanti wants to say, don't talk. And um, of course, you don't also view, you don't listen to the, the reports from Umaru Fofana, you know, and the man they talk about the Ngafodu investigation. You, you, you think say that will go ahead? You think say that will do investigation? Because what we know from where this regime come to power, we know when they see, we know when they see the debates, then debates, any auditor general's reports of parliament from when they come to power. And this one did not begin to interrupt them already. So what do you think about this one? We don't, we don't come also. Thank you very much. Um, you see, it looks like say we they underestimate the the dodgy, you know, the docking aspects of the current administration at Sierra Leone. We look to underestimate that. For an administration we not care about constitutional constraints, an administration we not care about legislative provisions such as the Finance you know, Management Act of 2016. For an administration we get cohorts gathered together where they violate all of the legal instruments there for make them go able for help enrich the most senior cater of the administration. It is a pity for us still they believe say, an investigation of some sort will be conducted by the anti-corruption. Let us don't really be blinded by the altruistic aspects of the matter. To start with, what appears to have happened under this administration, there is a feeding at the public trough. There's not an economic perspective and what this simply means, feeding at the public trough, now activities which are strictly, they are legal, but they are morally reprehensible. When we talk about moral reprehensibility, it means you are morally wrong to do what you are doing. Even though, uh, even though it seems to be right. Even though it seems to be legal, not right. Okay, yeah, fantastic, yeah. Legal, even though yeah. it seems to be legal, legal. but not right. Yeah. By that time, I, mean, I could give, a, give an example. Mm -hmm. The president said, I, I the fly, exactly. I the fly, I the fly. There is nothing actually uh, illegal from, in from the president the fly. flying. Because a day within the presidential mandate for making fly as much as he can, mm -hmm. you don't understand. Mm -hmm. But waiting the beyond the fly, when a day, the secret day, mm -hmm. where then they use the activities there for fatten the That's president it. and the first lady. Mm -hmm. This feeding at the moral trough, at, at the government trough, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Because these are monies belonging to the states. Yes. You don't understand? Mm -hmm. They are monies belonging to the states. So if you, they use legality for justify wrongdoing, that does not mean you are not going to be morally reprehensible for what you are doing. Now they bring the hue and cry into the country for say this man just fly the feed all the money to go. And they continue for blatant, blatant that, least day, and they continue for fly. So when you look at the over 150 travelings where this man don't make, can you imagine the millions and millions and hundreds of millions and millions of dollars we don't go? Wow. So when the Minister of Information, they tell you, say, the president not to aim, they control the resources. They don't clearly tell you, say, from beneath, the president gets in cahoots them where they make this money for them by violating the Financial Management Act, by violating the constitutions and all the rest of it. So at the end of the day, when there is or are investigations pending, this man will be cleared. 
Don't forget these people. Now, the, 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 we call it econo the, the economics of shenanigans. Now, mm -hmm. in the play, so now in the at play, economic shenanigans, but in no go work this time. Yes. Because we didn't do a no go work. According to the sources, authentic sources by the African Express, 50% of the evidence of financial irregularities, which are material evidences, have not been included in this Abdul Aziz audit report presented to Parliament. 50% of the wow. evidence is done. Well, I understand. Um, Mohamed 91, I want to come in quickly. I understand, yeah. say, the timber activities where this government with the power, not the inside these audit reports. Not to the 100 and something pages that we're missing, go on be part of that, so? Well, um, uh, the timber, now one of them, by and large, and in fact, the Auditor General, um, Lara, was very thorough about the timber investigation. And not only check the timber from this other side, check the timber, we don't go from the other side. Now that it do in fact for making Google get effective reporting. Because when something lost, um, uh, when you say this thing you know, lost, now one thing, but who said the thing go and you are we receive them and wait till you get for that thing, it's extremely important. This is my like story, I said right? to you, yeah, like I said to you, this Abdul Aziz, now a deputy auditor general, now the audit service. Um, we believe say it don't serve the for about 28 years, 10 months. Um, uh, um, never, uh, 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 ne never mind, in years of service, we get to rules them as to order for present the audit reports to parliament. We also get various people like Edwin Conte, when uh, the principal auditor at audit service here in Leon. We get Mohamed Ali Kalong, we get Christiana Williams, we they scrutinize 28 names there within the ADSL with this audit uh, reports go through the hands and then people lay out with the direct links then we didn't get with the government. But like I said, Abdul Aziz, Abdul Aziz, in your own show go be brought up as to why in the person we presenter and why the user and within Abdul Aziz you know, stick inside this particular thing. The reason why we this is so, because it's very much important when they remove Lara, why they for trust some Abdul Aziz. And Lara did not go alone, he goes in deputy. And why they for trust this Abdul Aziz here, we occupy this position for making a present this audit. Yeah, now, you, you just ask, yeah, you just don't ask about the 101 pages they missing. Yes, the timber are one of them and it is damning. And then be able, the Lara investigation, be able to link the presidency directly to the timber, directly to the timber. Mm -hmm. Be able to link them, and then Lara in your investigation, like I say, you say, it is alleged, say, what's it make I say the word alleged because she herself has not presented this report, but we the only you will get from inside. Like we say, we go follow process and procedure. You know, say as a political party, we say if no one break the law, we are a law abiding political party. We the subscribe to the democratic tenets them, and we want to only within the constitution say we for do. And um, even if the Lara Tiller. In, in reports then that we hand, we need to take them up on we for publisher. And um, uh, we go try for do we own findings and verifications. Then we believe, say, we able to force this government for it and release the actual reports we Lara Taylor be as prepared. And it is not 562, but 663. Okay, thank you very much. Um, before I can to Sweet Bonita, quickly to Mr. Colifa. Um, the presidency is linked to this money, huge amount of money we don't lose. Um, what do you, you got to say about this? The huge amount of money we don't lose. Let's forget about the fly, 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 the immoral behavior of flying all over the place, all about the place. And then now they don't begin linker to 
the timber, they don't begin to link them to the first lady and all of this, the corruption, the thing that we didn't talk about. We the layman as streets know for say yes, then people are so they dip and loot this country because according to our own headlines we get now, so we call it state looting. Would you agree to that? Um, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, after having served a government for 10 years, I'm pretty sure I can able to understand appropriately within capable where the president for do, within capable where in cohorts they can do, and within capable which each and every individual working in the system can do. Um, the president get cover-ups. Now I make a talk about the moral responsibility. When it's camp and camp and any kind of investigation tomorrow, then we only hold are morally responsible, not legally responsible. These monies we talk about, where they're not ascribed to the president, these are allegations. And that is not to say if proven right, they're not going to lead to criminality, of course. But who they go get for do the investigation, we go hold them and they are called people. Just look at, for example, what happened a few weeks ago. At the end of the day, would I then charge out of that money for that New York refurbishment of uh, you know, the Serial High Commission? Samura Kamara. Uh, Samura Kamara. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. And it is also you know, clearly and categorically stated that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, when an ambassador to the United States of America, now within Egypt, had already paid $100,000 out of this money. But he has, he has not been brought to book. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been brought to book. So what do you think in this current administration, the anti-corruption will get for bring for answer? None. It not will happen. Wow. It's okay. like comparing the impossible to what is possible. It is absolutely impossible. It not will happen. The reason which they make, they tie themselves, put themselves, you understand, in this kind of, Come you on. know, cabal is to protect one another wow not like honest kuruma we don't care we've been ever talked to even in mama if not in found culpable let in charge him. that's why he tried as best as he could not for put any of his family members into governance positions at all you know do I? wow you don't understand so therefore within Mohammed 91 city talk it actually try for explain generally mm -hmm. What's it, Abdul Aziz? Abdul Aziz is not a fictional character. He works there. Mm -hmm. And I think he gets uh, some frobe like or Flaton like, you know, pedigree kind of. Mm -hmm. Now, under pressure, we get for submit, which is submit to. Wow. I don't go praise, I don't go praise Omar Fofana at all. This is not a charade kind of like say, okay, because we don't now delete, you know, pages one to 150 something, etc. Lord, just make now for let the thing look good for say, yes, not everything is perfectly right for the international community. But these are, there are questions, answers already been prepared by what you see Umaru Fofane talk about. I see. At the end of the day, when they present them, mm -hmm. you know, it is all clear and good. That's wow. why they subtracted, they removed what was material. We get something for do with financial irregularities. We get for do with um, material details such as, you know, cash losses, unreported transactions, irregular expenditures, dubious procurement activities, and all the rest of it. Hmm. That is where the evidence of the 50% lie, where they're not included, or where they're not removed from the report itself. Okay. So which is, which is so it's a facade. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. Fantastic. Um, make we make we come listen to Sweet Bonita um within the general public, the viewers, the reaction to this um discussion. Sweet Bonita, over to you. Yeah, and here we first of all have from Agat Contest, who is asking APC, do you, um would you be able to pull SFP come 2023? Because I'm sure all of this, if we are agreeing that this is the sort of behavior of this current administration, I'm sure they should not be in governance. But again, that's one of the questions from her. And then we also have here, um, this is from Jibber, uh, but these are arguments going back and forth, which people are there sorting it now. <laughs> and here again, this is from Emmanuel says, SAPP, the folks of all here come 2023, Papa, we are. And then here we have um, 
this is also from I anyway, know somebody's asking. I think you've asked the question about 91 like to show his face. So everybody just want to see who is the famous 91s and all that. And then we have here, this is from um Tennyson. He says, Oh, when the government want to lose, then there will be sins, there will be so um sinner donors will stop funding the international donors, then we still fund them because they know that this government must complete their tenures. So we still have people that are living in the lineage world since I said people stay there 10 years. Mm -hmm. so, me, I'm looking at that. They stay in there 10 years has nothing to do with me or yourself. It's for the poor people that live in Africa. And most of these other cases for people that are not able to advocate for themselves. Again, I was happy that Colifer mentioned to say there's nothing to praise Omar for, for because he should have said more than what he said. He's literally guiding his words now before he even speaks. So he's already a script right before he can come on here. So that's something. Then we have Mr. Tambanano here. I would like to say greetings to him. He says, welcome to the noble um, panelist. And then here we have, um, this is people saying, this is from Abdullah Kuruma. He says, well, he's speechless because why do we think they're saying, but the question here is, what are we going to do for us here within the UK and I? Again, that's just question people going out of their way just to bring us, and I would like to welcome MC. He, she's with us this evening. Thank you, MC. We know, yes. <laughs> the Mami that's happened is here. We just have so many, it's just back and forth questions. Um, oh, okay, so I think I'll have to skip some of these because people are just arguing among themselves. Okay. So that's where it is. But again, here right. we have Paolo, but that's okay. what we have. MC right. saying greetings to Colifer and also Mohamed. Mohammed 91 says the two supermen so okay fantastic right. that, yeah. well let's move on let me share a video with you guys and questions with me to ask president bio about corruption and i just struggle for respond to these questions let me just quickly share this one your with you. campaign slogans was to really try to root out corruption in Sierra Leonean government. You investigated your predecessor's administration, you made it a focus, especially early on. Fast forward three years, looking around you, what do you think Sierra Leoneans make of how you have handled uh, corruption? When corruption was endemic in this country, it was fashionable, it was a way of life. We have, what we have done or what I have done is to make it very risky, it is, uh, is to make it difficult, to make it uh, not fashionable anymore. Uh, with the use of the anti-corruption uh, commission, um, we have been able to recover quite a lot of money from uh, those who acquired monies illegally. When we came in, they rated us, uh, our control of corruption index was about 47%, 47%. Today, we are in the 80s. In the past three years, we have made progress every year. President Bio, though, your chief minister has been accused of corruption, and your wife, the first lady, has also been accused of corruption, misusing public funds. How are they being held accountable? Uh, it is easy to accuse uh, uh, or make allegations that uh, any member of my family or the government is corrupt. Uh, we have a system. You have to prove that uh, uh, you know you have to produce evidence. Uh, so without that, uh, but I can make I can say you are corrupt even when I cannot see. It. I can hardly I, I hardly have any dealings to do with you. Whenever there is any claim of corruption, the uh, anti-corruption commission is free to go and investigate. And where there is evidence of wrongdoing. As far as money is concerned for the state, we will take action. So, so, so let me get this straight. If it is proven, President Bill, if it is proven, if that uh, the chief minister and the first lady, your wife, have actually misused public funds, um, how will they be held accountable? Well, there's a prescription for whatever happens. I, you know, if. Uh, that is the case, uh, and it is, uh, it's uh, proven in a court of law or any by, by the commission. They either ask to pay for it, or um, there are different forms of punishment for, for that. And they will have to. 
on top of that, you recently hired a brand new finance minister who was accused of long-standing corruption in the previous administration. What message does that send to Sierra Leoneans? Again, you've used the word accused. Andre, and he has, he has had to go through a very long legal process to prove that he was he is not guilty. So, um, like I said earlier, it is easier. I, anybody can make uh, such claims, outlandish claims, or you know uh, that the other person is corrupt. But we uh, are a law-abiding country, and we go through the entire length to make sure that um, when claims or allegations are made, we prove them in a court of law, and then we take the necessary actions. From this response, this video, we don't see, it's quite clear from what in Qualifar been say earlier on that um, this is just like a, a whitewash. Um, the words then we Migo puts in new words from what in Qualifar say, Mohammed 91, she say, the president is morally irresponsible. Is that so? Mr. Mohammed 91, she say, um, uh, well, it will not be my words, my choice of words. Uh, I will not describe the presidency in any shape or form because I are in the capacity of the party and a member of the national publicity team. I know can adhere with the position. I can able to give me a choice of words, but I will not use that. However, <clears throat> make I just bring a very important and significant aspect where I believe say the viewers they will want to know. Like I'm to tell you, this Abdul Aziz. We get a very worrying situation. Some describe this Abdul Aziz as Bangura. Abdul Aziz Bangura, now a civil servant who has been investigated before now by the ACC and found convicted by the ACC. Okay. Could this be the reason why this Abdul Aziz, whenever he presents a document, he left the Bangura name behind? Equally so, we also get intelligence of some documents, some agreements that whereby in 2016, Norway will be getting um, some assistance from Norway, whereby the audit service in Sierra Leone with the audit service in Norway. And um, uh, we we'll get a situation whereby Norway be the sponsor of certain projects then for Sierra Leone. And um, very worrying developments then they will take place around this particular figure. The process was a bilateral cooperation between the audit service Sierra Leone and the auditor general of Norway. Okay. And um, you will get um, a region where they call the AFOSAI. Region. This was in um, uh, in 2016, somewhere sometime around um, uh, um, November. I think it was around the first of November. And the uh, total budget told you talk about that this Abdul Aziz was being investigated for we it was a 645,000 US dollars. We need to try for toxic in this post intake. But at some point, the ACC will get their own findings in respect of this very character. Um, and the implementing agencies at the time, when uh, the Office of the Auditor General of Norway, the register, the dissatisfaction, and the way where this very Abdul Aziz handled then. And equally presented his name as SO, S O W E, and in some documents where they signed, presenter Soa, S-O-W-A. Who is this Abdul Aziz? You see the Abdul Aziz Bangura, the civil servant that was convicted and investigated, that was investigated by the ACC and convicted, or is the Abdul Aziz So or Soa, who signs his name as Soa, um, uh, we na in the act, na in the capacity as Auditor General. Let nobody know. In fact, he's being addressed as Auditor General. And the audit report presented actually to Parliament, he put a key and emphasis, say, 
the 2020 audit report now uncover 113 billion leons of unsubstantiated cash losses. We accept and acknowledge that. And this is a government we credit it itself say then can can fight corruption. They even the parade with awards they say these are the awards then are then can force when it comes to fighting corruption. They predicated their um, fight to social democracy and we all know what in and mean. And then this very government went after the opposition then they begin chase them, calling them thieves, if I should quote the words of the chief minister in gross infraction, criminal racketeering. In fact, those words are so vulgar to a point that even the, um, uh, the commission of inquiry, the COIB rejected the report, say, it will it be reject the report, say, that we are so monofocal, biased, and taken without um, substantiating or corroborating the claims them. So then we push the um, GTT reports aside. Instead, they relied upon testimonies of witnesses. Here we are to waiting um, with Big Brother, the legal luminary, to qualify the talk. Um, uh, if this government is and then clean at all, I have doubts. Um, uh, if you are like with Grumpy, they go after Arata. I can tell you these guys are thieves. I they tell you this. This Namion what? Not on behalf of the APC party. These guys cannot be trusted. Um, I can tell you this. This Namion what? Not to the APC what? And I can tell you, see, uh, within the presidency, there are people playing dirty games, either for the president or um, um, for themselves, but it is linked and surrounded around the presidency because then fake receipts that we have fabricated and presented to the audit service then. Um, it be done within state house, the head of state house, not the president. It done within state house. Um, uh, the minister of information say the president did play with money. Of course the president doesn't play with money, but he does authorize it on me at behalf. When I go collect money, be paddy and when I go collect and I'm the receiver. Then they take and they spend that for him. So whether the president is knowledgeable, um, uh, we therefore come to something again where qualified talks uh, the moral responsibility. Why well, define that small? Yes, we get books them we say during the time of constitution per se, during your tenure of office, where you deserve, they cannot hold you responsible for a decision you make. Okay? But in no clear say when you commit a criminal action, criminality, we cannot hold you responsible. In all clear, we believe, say, part of your moral responsibility, you therefore come back and explain your stewardship, like what Yannis by Kuromadu. He presented um, a report, a book, if we cost another alarm for the Chokna Stadium, he no say no longer for Allah already, and so he wrote a book, or they can go present them already for explaining stewardship. So, President Bio, you um, therefore explain his stewardship at some point. And this is not to preempt, say, we get for go after anybody if we come back in governance. But we just want to let people and take the Sierra Leonean people, them, um, let them take, let them treat me seriously. We know to juke us them. You need to come and treat the Sierra Leoneans with no semblance of common decency and believe, say, you can get away with it. Like we Englishman say, let sleeping dogs lie. But equally so, Creole man say, that dog go, dog go, bet people pick in. He said the goalie don't well, lie in a tick they wake up. So most even these police officers and these other governmental, so they do things that with impunity, with the hopes they then get they will exonerate themselves by saying, Oh, I was only taking orders and this sort of thing. I don't believe this could work now with modern democracy. We get for old people and responsible, they make we admonish them, we advise them now for make their act professionally. Whether I'm a police officer, whether I'm a government minister, whether you're an agent um, uh, or of a, of a government official, we really ask you all for me to behave professionally. So against that background, the eyes are still bewildering against Abdul Aziz. Why was Abdul Aziz used? And um, we also believe, see, Abdul Aziz gets a few reservations there, even for being brought forward. 
Um, he was assured say, let just continue for acting in this capacity for now until they find a quick fix measure. But Abdul Aziz, as we believe, is not even comfortable with the current position. This is so, what I have so far. So thank you very much for your insights um, into this Abdul Aziz way. We just hear this name, but we're not being quite sure who that this man be. And very important for let you uh, pinpoint on them that we have to, you know, raise a big question mark on the Abdulaziz and along with the other one the way this report passed through until the coming of parliament. So we all as the unions don't know see then guys just so then they into something very very serious some kind of syndicate for protect this government the corruption. It's like they're not able to get away with none of this. So they just go for sort of accept that there's a huge amount, you know, still still even though there's Another hundred and something pages. We don't we don't go out of the um, audit report, but still they're not able for balance the other one. Then they just go for acceptance. So for the time being, but yes, this don't raise the question. We all don't understand. See this link the president in office, and um, we want the Sierra Leonean people, and we want to forget the money and so back. Mr. Kolifa, do you think we'll get this money back from this government? A government that subsists in denial will never ever accept responsibility. You've heard, listen to the voice of the Minister of Information. That it clearly they tell you say, then go fight tooth and nail for make them protect the presidency. How then will protect the presidency? Then we we'll use what in them feel to say illegally possible for protect this man, even at the expiration of in term of office, if he's to be held accountable of the stewardship. You understand? Mm -hmm. Loopholes then will be, you know, taken advantage of for safeguard them. That is why when Mohammed 91 to say are happy for, you know, in deviation a little bit mm -hmm. from the concept or principle of moral responsibility mm -hmm. for bring calm. Mm -hmm. That an economic perception, an economic context mm -hmm. for say, anybody where they feed on at the public trough, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. That somebody where they get in self fattened by what belongs to the state. Mm -hmm. But by what means? Through legal activities, ap yes. activities that appear to be legal. But morally but, wrong. But morally wrong. You don't understand. Yeah. Well, within anti corruption, they investigate not to moral wrong, no, legal. But criminal wrong. Yeah. And I can give you evidence of what is a criminal wrong, what constitutes a criminal, a criminal matter. The African Express clearly states for say, mm -hmm the office of the first lady. And that is so, not supposed specifically, forget, specifically yes. not supposed to forget any finances from the Ministry of Finance. Mm -hmm. The office is not part and parcel of any MDA, Ministry, Department and Agency. Wow. But it went on further to say the Minister of Finance then secretly they disperse Money is up to 1.4 million US dollars into the account of the first lady. We in been don't deny say, you know, if it happened later, he admits say, yes, it happened. This is criminality. Whether their own ACC will get for investigator and today or not, when we come, we'll go investigator. It's criminal. Whether we will get for turn moral wrong into legal right, you understand? Mm -hmm. The legal point is to get for look at her on the basis of the fact that you are at the top. Whatever goes wrong, you have to be held responsible. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Yeah. That's the way. True. And it's clear because if 1.4 million US dollar is being put into the account of the first lady and they go as far as itemizing the transactions, the checks, the dates, of withdrawals of all of these monies. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is a clear justification for Shusi 
Now your entitlement, no, you're not entitled to government funds. Wow. Okay. Quite apart from the timber, the design, and all the rest of these are the, down in the, na the, na the, na the, na the recipe, you know, of the criminal approach to things. Like I say, now the courage na him they not get. If they get the courage, they should have allowed Lara Taylor Pierce. You don't understand it. Original or it's a general report for come out. Hmm. So we know said and get now the courage for face the bull by the horns by responding to all of those issues raised by the auditor general's report. And now when he received that response then day, like I told you, after having been a politician for 10 years, that's how the procedure goes. Then they can investigate it and they embed the institution for one month, two months, then they retire. Mm -hmm. When they retire, then now they go send a management response letter to you as to them findings. Mm -hmm asking you to respond. Wow. You know, they only respond in vacuum, but they respond with credible evidence attached mm -hmm. to those findings. Wow. That is where the Auditor General will have to, to will get to know that, oh, this is a fictitious document and there are way they are attached. This is not true. You don't understand? Now, it happened in the case of the findings where the Auditor General find out from abroad. From abroad. Where the, where the hotel is saying, mm, these are not a receipt too. Not to get them mobile. They oh, will not know, not to own them. They in fact, this by they get that analysis. Disgraceful. And disgraceful. <laughs> so you see, so if you ask me, you know, this, now the approach towards waiting to happen at status and all other MDAs, it's like moral reprehensibility versus criminal responsibility. Wow, you play some fine for me, Mr. Kolifa. Wonderful, man. Much. I believe, say, let's let, let just let share something quickly where the first lady said they make some lot of arrogance in this mm. uh, question, the you know, mentioning the order. first lady. On mm. my wedding. <laughs> what? Hey! Ah! Hey, y'all, come look at this. The money that me, Fatima, <laughs> I worked for 22 years of my life in the United Kingdom. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> you know when Father Bill is going to die? <laughs> I said, God forbid. You want me to say it in Monday? Okay, continue. Sometimes I actually buy my own field to go and campaign for Sierra Leone. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take my personal money to put lights in Bo and Kenema? <laughs> we have our own money. We, we are not beggars. <laughs> Was I working or I was selling oranges in the junction? What? Since I've become the first lady of Sierra Leone. Do you know how many sacrifices I've made? Hey, if I hear one more word, I swear to God, I go from corner and slap all that is in the line. <laughs> Mentioning, mentioning the first lady, I just thought as you share this with you guys. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Anyway, sweet Bonita, you don't, you don't listen to what Tim Khalifa ever say. Um, I believe say the, the panel um they don't do really good justice to this topic already so far, and um the question remains: we're not gonna get our money. What in what in people and thinking that? This money don't go so. Yeah, well, just when Khalifa was speaking, apparently um, Ma Malcolm, uh -huh. I mean, Malon ACC says, uh, Mr. Khalifa, with my background in global business, ABM, we have established the difference between allegation, and that is without evidence or fact, but with substantial evidence with names, dates, and time. And I think by the time he posted that, that's when Khalifa was mentioning that the African express have given us Actionaries list of yes. data of transactions and everything. Exactly. So have evidence to those effects. Because mm -hmm. you know, also when he mentions about the fake receipt from China or whatever country they went to, mm -hmm. and the Auditor General has to go because I'm sure there was a discrepancy in what they produced and what they said it was. So she's like, mm -hmm. let me just double check this. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, this is not ours. How so disgraceful it was. And I was also grateful you mentioned you brought in the video of the first lady regarding saying 
if she was hopping oranges, we all know what she was doing in the UK mm -hmm. for the past 20 years. Or I've been here within Sadak, where she lives, which is not far, for more than 20 years. I've never seen her working. We all just go to the red carpet show, that's it. And we know how much they pay us. So for me, that wasn't a job. So nothing happens from the States during her wedding. But again, transaction came out. So as again, they said, that's criminality. So oh, wait, if this ACCA will not hold them responsible, the next one will definitely hold them responsible. But again, this is the question people are asking, will APC be in governance come 2023? Because until that is done, before these people will be held accountable for their actions. Because we all know um, the former finance minister had issues money laundering from previous administration. So they've employed the same person saying there is no evidence. As far as they're concerned, they never see evidence. But there are evidence there. So we'll wait and see what happened comes 2023. Indeed. Yes, we will come to plan 2023. Know why? Mm -hmm. Because you're not, I mean, that side of it, I don't think it's part of the If it's part of the ban, it has been part of the questions that have, uh, that have already been forwarded to you. But mm -hmm. I, for one, strongly believe said so the APC will come back in 2023. Amen. Remember when I made my audio in June 2018? I made the prediction. It's like I had a sense of deja vu at that time for say all of what these guys are doing, constitutional abrogations, that which is not right, the violation of so many other stuff. I say we go archive. That was the first time I used the word archive. Mm -hmm. for Mac, we go use what has been archived and that's what is happening today in the social media or with the report it's an archive you promised in one of your campaigns we will go present to the electorate for it's removed and guide the i still hold on to that prediction that i made and it's not a wrong prognostication that i've made at all because the keys Way for don't make this current administration unlock their fortunes for get back to the 2023 have not been used. So the compartments we hold on to their fortunes there are still locked. The keys have not been used. Yeah. Okay. So they haven't been used. Yeah. Well, here the last one just came from Adama and Bangura. She says, I think the people should contact the HMRC to get a 22 years work experience and how much tax she has paid. We all know that's not true. So Absolutely. I don't know, we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> we know she has some work, trust me. But benefits after benefits, mm -hmm. we know that. <laughs> so, right. Mr. Mohamed 91, um, the least we can do as a party, opposition, of a kick them people also out, sharp, sharp one by 2023, even though we seem like they're not going to investigate. They're not going to get the money or so back. Yeah. And this, the next government, they can foot all them huge bills there so at the expense of the people of Sierra Leone. The least we can do now for kick them out of this um, power. How prepared are we? Because now the, now the, now the, now the question that the people in the ask now, now the, now the platform, not so, so Bonita? Yeah. Okay. Mohamed Atuan, over to you. Um, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> You see, the APC political party, as you can see, one of the products them, when uh, we legal luminary qualify, as you can see in resilience, you can see the confident manner where they making submission. You can see the deliberate steps the way they take for highlights, also by mistake, or some of them things there where they happen. Well, um, lawyer qualifier na so so in kind and they flop na this political party. How ready are we now? Um, well, you get plenty of people the way they talk say we readiness depend on we unity and waiting at the definition of unity, political unity, na relative term. If people in the field say that plaba we may qualify get until they don't in a unity, I am sorry. If people in the field say, 
pass me and uh, I didn't use me big brother qualifier because it's not possible because in a flag bearer material and before now, so me no see Milton are not in at the same level. I know I call in him with any other person. If um, people are facing a way me and qualify the whole hands, we can jump and jubilate now in a unity, no. Are we that divided to a point that the interest of the party has been undermined? I think that is driven towards the definition of unity. We actions them, current actions then, and they jeopardize we success chances them, or chances of success towards the 2023 general elections. Me, they just raise the questions them. Do we have um, an intention for make we will be a flag bearer, we popular and we capable for deliver um, that which I mean the death kiss to the SLPP for make we will, we will remove them? But we need, um, we, need answers, we need answers those we need answers those. we get people there uh, with the requisite institutional knowledge for make them go able and vigorize we support base with grassroots people there uh, let them stand tall and resist the rubbish way they happen in the country we we'll get people them um, where we intend for gay as flag bearers where they understand the political dynamics of the country um, uh, for Sierra Leoneans, them, the ordinary people, them, I can assure you of them few answers. I don't want to produce the answers. Like I say, I get uh, a boss here on this platform politically <laughs> when I qualify. Um, uh, I think this would be a fair question for um, since now somebody we don't take national stage pan politics. I will only give the reports as a man on the ground. When you go Sanya Bacha, that mean a Sanya Bacha, I know if you're president, you will or not. The bag where in be they sell um, 30,000, I get for sale and 70, 100,000. And in no waiting people, they happen. She had to explain to people them as to the difficult economic circumstances, the way we don't plunge ourselves into by allowing um, them by go tree, uh, and ch um, tribal hardliners of the SLPP to be in governance. Yes, this is your word. By go three tribal hardliners of the SLPP, not to the APC word, Nami your word. And then um, equally so, when you go to the court, that Pepe, that Yabas, that Magi, where you give you wealth, no say, if you be the game, um, 100,000, now you get for game 250. For make you able to go and meet the needs. Then people and they don't know. And the last time when the presidential spokesman Yusuf Keketoma be the uh, parambulate with a video for let people and see what the president be able to do. I mean, I'll be able to debunk land there. I think he stopped for sharing immediately because it's shame. I say the people in Adolf Court and Sanya Bach are no need for watch this video. They know if your president be work or not. You don't need to go and put some things then together for make the presidency feel good. I say equally so as a spokesman, you need for council mentor and bring to the attention of the presidency. Whenever you put them post there on social media and that you get a headache. You know, um, we big lawyers there, when I qualify, I will tell you, say, in law, we get within an ultimate probandum and penultimate probandum. We then people there, they predicated their fight to social democracy, like I said to you. And then today we see them, they do a reverse. They say, not so we say. Um, uh, Article 5 of the manifesto talk about the Lungi Bridge. Clearly, they, they, they say, no, they're not talking about their mouths, but they're right. You see? Um, and Timni Masi, I will quote, I will explain, I'm sorry for the one they will not to Timni. Mota Mantaro, I tell you, come, uh, come, but Kauni, and Kalene, a dim dog. If you make it, I tell you, ka, a mirror way. So for letting you know waiting there now somebody in mind and what's them you they check for no waiting in I heart and in action. So then people there with the word with the mind, with the heart, that the words and the actions be put together, it presents us with the arguments of the mind and the arguments of the heart. If Sierra Leoneans them, the ordinary people they don't aware, say this government's no good for them. Now, the question they now for politicians there, are we ready? Like how the people are ready now? So, Owen, because we are just to answer the question of the ordinary people, them, as an ordinary man myself, where they go down there as a social entrepreneur, 
where they help for empower the ordinary people to become champion of the communities instead of an, um, hand out victims of circumstance. So there are role models there, like the qualifiers and others, where we copy from, and then bring way up. So at the end of the day, if we come to the political question, I should not answer that, regardless of my designation as a member of the national publicity team. I want to weigh this question to qualify. Are we ready as a political party to take back governance? I want to tell you thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Good submission. 91 CC say, hmm? the people of Sierra Leone are not ready. Are the politicians ready? Kolifa na a seasoned politician inside the APC. He don't serve at a national level. Na a presidential material. Now, the question where I ask him, if we are ready as a political party, they don't throw them to in senior comrade. So they are on a lot of listening to waiting qualify for C. Because the people of Sierra Leone, now I'm in a court, like we mentioned, ain't ready because he know I be the seller rest and that pepe. Today, three, four years down the line, he know the price of pepe. So he know what he for do come 2023. Are we ready as politicians? This is the question. Let's go ahead. Brilliant. Um, to answer Mohammed 91 <coughs> is more than question. <clears throat> I think generically, Mohammed 91 to say has answered the question. <laughs> you don't hey, understand. You know, we're, not, we're not playing duck and dives here. Are we? Why, why I say so? <laughs> Mohammed 91 to say an analysis, a hinge on what in the economics called the macroeconomic activities of the country. And within a macroeconomic <coughs> activities of the country, the performance, the structure, you don't understand, mm -hmm. and as to how the government they go about for make employment, you understand, good in the country, so that the income of those people that are employed go feel better, you understand, by keeping the inflation at a low rate. But <clears throat> none of these things is happening now in this country. There is no economic activity or no economic growth compared to what used to be when the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, being described the Coroma administration as the fastest growing economy, you understand, of West Africa or Africa at the time. So under such circumstances, if there has been a drop of all of these activities, now employment facilities is zero. There is no economic activity. <clears throat> We're not to produce anything, nothing. They invest in companies, then they wind up, then they left the country. They don't enough for let the people are really able for, even if they don't go to school for, no say, hey, like you quote them, I mean, uh, dove court, say, hmm. This will be waiting no more now, waiting here for happen. But there, there they go. Now, <clears throat> that brings me to who is going to be the likely contender for this administration. That is why I'm not going to be a hypocrite at all, and I have to speak measuredly. One thing I would tell you, as paranoid as this current administration is, they are ready to throw dirt on anybody we don't serve the Coroma administration, even if you're as clean as ever. Just for letting decapitate them, weaken them like what's in the episode to Pasamura. You mm -hmm. don't understand. Mm -hmm. At a point where if they see to say popularity, they grow, low through it, the tip on them. Mm -hmm. They go left, they go now cut it. Well, if they left, they go now cut it, the time they get closer, what do we do? Let me then go turn around and say, Takoba Mohan, because with Takoba Mohan and Swan say, who had never served, where they're not going to be able to eat the tipper. Then the whole country will flock around them. Otherwise, why do you think all you want that we don't serve on the Kuruma administration and drag them camp and commission of inquiry? Accept me. Why they not throw, they, they try to throw dirt by me, but it not work. Because then look at, which they don't look at for draw all the rest, they don't see anything where they would draw qualifying to a commission of inquiry or be encountered with white paper. 
But I was the most wanted man at the beginning of the administration, mm -hmm. where they alert the international police, the British National Crime Agency, only for that land at this country, returning home, so to speak. Mm -hmm. They find out uh, absolutely I was quick and clean. Mm -hmm. A political machinations. But even me, na me then choose a go yonder tomorrow, then go straight through away that dirty day. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I've been done challenge them. Mm -hmm. So I go tell you, say, pass with God, Marco, I'm off it. I am off. As long as there is current dispensation. Therefore, that question we Mohammed 91 throw at me, we only the hope, the matter, the criminal matter, you know, or the criminal suit in court against Pasamura Kamara. If he's going to be a flag bearer, we only do hope say this matter is speedily completed. We go well, clear up. Thank then. you very much. You touch you touch yeah. the very, very core of this whole thing. Yep. Yes, they are all they don't try for, for connect corruption cases them on all the potential. All the potential, the yeah, yeah. With the hope that anyone we emerge, see say now they become very popular. Mm, mm, mm. The Lego um and in that logo the bomb. The Yep, and yep. then they begin to drag out case. They down. begin drag out. They, yeah. they mm. quench in, 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 in potential, yeah, um, you know, nice. flag bearer ship. So now, like we they try for do now because we know say time mm -hmm. time no day much again for we as a political party. Mm -hmm. We have to at some point in 2022 mm -hmm. die for fen with flag bearer mm -hmm. and begin the fight Vienna now campaign mm -hmm. for now. Mm -hmm. In this case, hanging, I know say Samuel Kamara supporters them no go be happy for yeah, this thing or so, but the party no get time for wait while there's a case hanging on him, or they go for fence somehow for let them speed this case or so finish up straight away. May we know we take waiting for happen. So, but then get a strategy, the SLPP, of course, then get a strategy. But one thing we will go for do as a political party now for tell SLPP say. It doesn't matter who that we put, whether not Mohammed 91 CC or not Owen Kasu or not Kolifa or not Sweet Bonita. The entire APC is ready to rally behind whoever they put together, whoever they put forward for becoming the flag bearer. So, but let me hope say this case against Samura is speedily concluded, then the party will for move on. So, Kolifa <coughs> don't talk, 91 don't. Who do you think that you want to say? Sweet Bonita, what are the reactions of the people and the, the viewers? Then? Well, one of it, it's like from Mixer again. Our own Mixer. Mixer says, Mixer, yeah. <laughs> I'll call Mixer. <laughs> it says, Ceruleanians are yearning for change because man hmm, is everywhere and change. However, the APC as a political party, hierarchy's members are not ready for effect change and follow the competitor wish to happen in the country comes 2023. We are in a sad situation taken into consideration that the infighting politics within our APC circles. And then here again, um, Adam would say, even all those lawyers like the Keke Toma will um, checkmate when the APC comes into power as all of them will have to retake their, their, their back examination, inshallah, <laughs> before they can continue to practice law in our beloved country. And here we have my, my um, Yakubu says, keep it up, good work, APC, AUK, and I. And then here again, um, this person, I'm not going to call the name. And then they said, well, I guess it is safe to say now, Mr. Khalifa has just endorsed. <laughs> and then Mary came says, okay, based on the microeconomy, the uh, the branch of economics concerns within the large scale and general economic factors such as interest rates and and national productivities, microeconomic part of the economy increase a single factors and the fact of individual basis. Because I think this question is for a lady called Agatha. She was saying apparently when uh, Mr. Kolifa came into the passport office and he raised the passport prize. So she's asking, come 2023, if he's back in that position, if he's going to raise the same um, 
passport prices. Because again, I think this is why Marco mentioned about the inflation because prices will never stay. And I'm sure even with this administration, it's gone up again. It's oh, not yeah. the same. So oh, yeah. that's always going up. So oh, always going up. Agata, at least I've answered your question because I keep skipping it. She keeps bringing it in a different format. I'm like, you know what, let me just ask it once and for all. Mm -hmm. And then here again, um, Mixer came back, says, oh, okay, the APC, can I please retract your previous submissions and put a message from different as the endorsement is not endorsed? <laughs> no, it's not an endorsement. I mean, Mr. Mr. Colin Fakroma <laughs> has advised to come on this platform and endorse whoever he feels like. But this platform <laughs> does not endorse anyone no flag bearer until whoever emerges as the flag bearer right. then this platform can endorse that person and move on to support the person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yes um she's going to go ahead yeah no that's just what it is as i say i got to keep asking and i was dodging so she okay. finally said thank you <laughs> because <I have> to... <laughs> <laughs> right oh is it i, I don't believe that is like oliver get, get responsible for his no, no, but that's the right. thing again, people. Like for me, if if people should be upset with him, I'll be the first one. Because I remember this was in 2015. I went to do a passport. That's when they have to say, women, if you're going up there now, you need to cover your church. Sure, all sure. Down. I was like, I'm flipping hot. Mm. I had to get a shirt <laughs> like a scarf to take off. I was literally sweating like I was like cooking. I entered the office, it was hot. I was like they have to take me out says please don't come and die here i said well that's the law what should i do i have to be in here i need to come and sign so you know we all have been through that and people are that is your party i said no it's a rule they said that's how it should be if i knew i was coming here i would not dress like them because i don't want to be feel uncomfortable and going up there but that's just what it was and sometimes people take things personally and i'm like if that wasn't a rule i don't think anybody will stop me from entering Mm -hmm. But that's just what they stop everybody. I said, so I have to follow. Even mm -hmm. though when I went upstairs, I was like about to fall. Mm -hmm. They have to drag me out. Because mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. I became real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. just why it is, I got to. Mm -hmm. It's just when there are rules, people just have to follow. That's just mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Bonita. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to. We yeah. have to. If we don't respect the rules, who will respect them? Who will respect the rules? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we continue with these um, um, audit reports. Um, we therefore come to the final stage of this audit report. We then try for the debate on the parliament where we see the struggles. But we still get problem. Lara Telopias has been suspended. And the bitter blood with it between the Lara Telopias and this government. We don't know how this girl will end. But um, <clears> let me <throat> share this quick one because Uman Fofana asked us some question. We, in response, seem very, very, let's say, very angry with, with, with something. Let's just um, view this one quickly. And then from there. Auditor General, for what she seems to be going through, which some say is harassment, for doing a good job auditing your system. Do you also pity me? But my wife, when they talk about her, the audit service, you mean, talk about you and your wife? No. But I'm specific in terms of the audit. We are talking about general. her now. Yeah. You seem to be concerned about her. But you know what has been said about my person, my wife, and all of these people sitting here? Maybe you are politicians. She is not. Public officer. <laughs> <laughs> There is no more fence. You are open. They say everything and anything about you. I am. You think my intervention is going to stop? No. Maybe. I take it. I mean, I take that point, Mr. President. But the point is, be that as it may, do you sympathize or at least do you empathize with her for what she's going? I, I do. And you know, <laughs> the the the, the like, should I call it the accusation you're making? But the same thing my wife tells me. They are telling me I'm a thief, I'm not this, and she cries and that. I say, I've been called worse names than that. But no call, nobody called me to come here. I, I, I chose to come here. If you can't stand the heat, don't go to the heat. We want to be polite for politics, but we should never forget that. 
politeness in African politics can be a disadvantage. Yes. So why I keep I can't, I do not expect you to become all the time. I am the leader, I should become, but you should not become all the time. Yes. yes. Um, Mr. Mohamed 91 to say, um, uh, this is for you. Unable to make sense of why they ask President Bio if he gets any sort of sympathy or empathy for Lara Telopias for doing a good job. Because what seem what the, what he feels that they do to him is harassment. You don't tell the BN and for that, you know, release. This thing making you not know, include certain things then, and in belief say now harassing the harasser, which we all don't see blatantly now, that the harass until they don't get to a point to say they're not able to, then go for fend somehow, for circumvent some kind of laws for bring and come and put them out of the, the in functions as auditor general. So this thing still continue. How this relationship get for end? Because we not seem to, like for say we go for see and back anytime soon. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Owen Kosu. You see, when them people there begin the travesty of justice, when they begin contravening certain things, them, a lot of people learn that we are unaffected, then they turn a blind eye, they feel to say, I one of them. You know, with Salomon, unless something better, they not go join in for make a valuable promote the issues them or highlight the issues the way they affect the general populace. Um, I appreciate Kulifa uh, in line here, as opposed to other flag bearer materials, the presidential materials, the way show interest. And uh, 2017, <coughs> flag bearer ship um, race. In <coughs> take a position here whereby I don't see it as endorsement, but now advocacy you now it try for play in respect of the fit or whatever way Dr. Samura they go through for now. So against that background, it just be the try for remind the people and say what they are doing now, and not to because of Dr. Samura as Dr. Samura, but now mm -hmm. because of what he stand for. Mm -hmm. Even draw analogy, see, even in Kolifa, you know, one of the first people they wouldn't go after, first people. And <clears throat> as the party or as um, members of this party, for don't you will smell the rat say that they go after Kulifa, not because he's Kulifa, but not because of the position where he be served, not because then they try for target the APC party. You hit that position, you'll be hitting the APC party. Now, again, <clears throat> the question we ask when Lara Taylor appears, Again, I did say this. If the SLPP, they mobilize efforts for remove nine members, initially it was 10, but the Cadi Davis 1110, then do the election, win and back. They remove nine members. They replace them directly with members. Today, you get members in a parliament that have not been voted for. They're against the constitution because not to the courts, they choose to a member of parliament for we. It's not possible. Um, um, we get separation of powers, we checks and balances. There is nowhere they say the court name for dictate who that is serving at the legislative organ. It is wrong. And they impose a speaker of parliament. We left land be, then go then kill Natumbo. Natumbo call by my 91, McKinney, Lonsar, then, then come back and appalled by the massacre people. We let that be. And now even the institution, other people are watching. No wonder you see the police there and they will be professional and they will follow the codes of conduct there. Because they know, see, when they are individually targeted by this government, nobody stands for them. Nothing, nothing happens at all. So it is high time for law, we know, see, an attack on Lara Tilapia is an attack on the people of Sierra Leone. The travesty of justice, the bully tactics on a woman, um, one with the highest... Kaliba. And to once you sit on go mute for minutes. Interesting. Yeah, network. I Could think. They, we get a duty and a responsibility for make we will we will take this matter. If we take this matter as a matter, we affect 
us all as Sierra Leonean, as a people. If we able to understand, then people there will not stop at anything to keep themselves in power. They don't say they good, they work then, then good work, win and get. You know, they for present. Because when you talk about mandate renewal, President Bill, I have said this time and time and numbers, even on AYV, on Radio Democracy. I said, President Bio is the bearer of the greatest burden if this nation's here and you should fail as a state. Because he is the fountain of honor. Now, he's supposed to protect the constitution. If that very constitution, if you look at it, he allow, turn a blind eye, this, then do this, then he turn a blind eye, this, then do this. Believe you me, again for a while, and the roller decks, he come, then he boom around under your foot. Time go rich. He go wish he had not let these people do so. Okay, let's say no to President Bio. He's completely unaware. I mean, he claims to have the requisite experience if you don't need it as a, 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 um, a leader, uh, where we'll call him head of state. Now, as a president, I say get the requisite experience. He still gets responsibility because now he appointees them, the people the way they do this. Now he they oversee them. Naturally, they report directly. Then he gets a responsibility for check. If then people are actually, they deliver that which they were told or instructed or directed to do. But if he has not done that, he still call people one way or the other. That brings us back to the moral aspect where qualified they hesitate. Um, and it is very important. Any lawyer go carefully uh, stay away from um, um, uh, inserting, say, um, uh, criminal responsibility get for the under presidency, even if he left office, because you get rules around it. Um, uh, but equally, nobody no go afraid for talk about the moral obligation where the president gets and how it can be called to the books as well for making a can answer to his stewardship. Now, if this is so, the Lara Telopias, to conclude, now a matter in suspension and the suspension of all Sierra Leoneans then for letting them will be for letting them will be daft, let them not be aware of the issues that will affect we in this country. Um, the suspension of Lara Telapias. Now for tell we say we in a we are not supposed for no waiting to happen. And that the Auditor General, if you're not dance to them too, and that there will be no tune to dance to at all. And an example a precedent that sets for any other organization, thank God they don't get the political space. We now know why they don't get the political space, like the courts, the PPRC, the ACC. We don't know now why they don't get the political space and that you are there to serve us, the government of the day, not the people of Sierra Leone. And that if you try, we, we will do whatever we can to keep ourselves in power. It is high time the people of Sierra Leone say no to the SLPP. We are not cowards. Some lives get for go. But you wonder we go left and go. Now see, once a time, people stood up to a regime that was brutal, a regime where you see them forgetting your way. And this is not the aftermath. And these people are heroes at the end of the day. And this is not to incite anybody to stand up against them now. But this is just to say, in Islam, um, sorry for the one who not to Muslim. There are three ways you can reject wrong, according to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. One is a physically. You can get, if you see wrong, they happen. For instance, at the passing street, I see a man, they try for rape a woman. I for physically try for stop her. If you cannot stop some wrong physically, you feel say you're not, get, you're not in the capacity for do so. Then you for do a ultimate, you for speak up. Hey, what did they do so you not find out why they call the police? Even the action of picking up the phone to call the police is a physical action. And then if even that they no one do and then wrong points you're gonna at you, you for reject that with your mind when not the third one. So you can do it physically, you can do it verbally, then you can even do that with your mind. So if that is so Sierra Leoneans, then get to options them here now. The option to choose whether you want to do this physically to resist them by registering protest action. You for do it is within your constitutional rights. Whether you want to do a verbally for talk, like what you want to they do, thank God, let God bless you for providing a platform whereby people then go come out and register their dissatisfaction, the travesty of justice, where 
the SLPP power power government, they in the tribal hardline and chumps them, by go to chumps them. When they unleash the men and so then they unleash on Sierra Leoneans, the defenseless citizens, armless, A R M L E S S, armless citizens, then they use guns 14 millimeters for bust them up from one part to another. I think we get the choice now, whether physically, verbally, or with we mind spiritually, for law we stop them, or whether we they left them for let them continue because we're cowards. The nation, Sierra Leone, we call ours, will never change unless we all do. I pause. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mohammed91. You say that's a powerful submission from you. Um, we just did go into six minutes to the final time for where we'll conclude. Um, we know say all good things must come to an end. Um, this is coming to a close very soon, but um, I just want to quickly share one short video with Una. Uh, we get the parliamentarians them for debate this year soon uh, uh, parliament, but it looks to say then they come through a lot of disruption. Uh, we see we kind of young teller they try to discuss this for the debate time, but they get a lot of interruption of parliament, but then it get the opportunity for coming at AYV sit on and try for see argue for put the same message across to the um, AYV, to the people of Sierra Leone for say yes, now this and the party have to do. But um, it seems like for say, this is going to meet another um, dead end. I should put it that way, another dead end. So let's just quickly share this with you now. And then from there, we will get qualified for saying final words and then take them from there. One minute. Is reneging on its responsibility <clears throat> by refusing to debate the Auditor General's report um, I have said that in different mediums now since October. I took the extra step of moving a motion, which was referenced in our letter, supported by Honorable Asan Sisse, that we want to debate. We've also lobbied the Speaker of Parliament, which we do not need to do, because by not debating it, we are violating the Constitution. It's a constitutional requirement. We did not even need a motion. Nothing has happened. Of course, as you said, I talked about it last year, a year ago, in, in, in a way of admonishing the government, encouraging them that since 2020 is the year of delivery, it should also be the year of enforcement. If you want to close the leakages, you must deal with real-time audits. Yeah, Real-time audits, we've advocated, we've spoken about it. There's another reason why parliament has to do it, which is, which is that by not doing it, you are aiding and abetting bad behaviors in MDAs. Because they say it. You go through the audit reports, the recommendations are the same. People spend money, they don't bring back receipts. People spend money, they split contract, the same thing. If you go back, don't even stop at 2016, mm -hmm. go back. Same recommendation. So what's the culture? Government money in a free money, spend and they know the checks in. And it's some of those who wrote the constitution were members of that government, but some of them were constitutional lawyers. They say, what we've seen, we don't want to happen in the new republic. Mm -hmm. So if we, the inheritors of this document, of the new republic, come back and choose to do the old wrong practices, and then we are all over the place saying we are trying to fight corruption, it's not working. And what we see now, is that the people don't trust that we're doing it. Why? The perception survey. And it matters what they think. So um, if we omit our responsibilities, if we do not do what we're supposed to do, yes, the culture of corruption continues. The people of Sierra Leone not trust the government in the way they conduct themselves anymore. The perception survey tells that we don't trust the system, we don't trust them from the time when they bring Kam Abbas Bundu in to the time when they beat the parliamentarians them, to the time when they remove the 10 parliamentarians, to the time when they continue for enforce things them where they want, where they suit them. And they don't systematically, you know, get away with so many things then, you know, that the country at the expense of the people of Sierra Leone and then continue for Duam. Here we are. Um, we Auditor General, they don't kick them out. 
we the people of Sierra Leone, we don't know what to do because you know hit we direct, direct, direct. You know, we know got to do something about it. Here we are again. There's another one creeping. We now the so-called midterm census. We we look like for say we turn a blind eye to small, small because in the arrests we big one them. They don't arrest me. They don't arrest Mohammed ninety one C C eight. So we we feel say so they are you know you know reach to it. But here they are, they are getting away with all sorts of things then. Now they're stopping these people. Why do the parliamentarians need to lobby to debate an important document which has been laid in parliament? You know, very, very serious one with this kind of magnitude of um, figures we don't go missing. Mr. Koliva Koma, so respond to that one and give you final word with that one as um, we, we technical team at the background, they watch the time very keenly right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, waiting, he just don't talk, and Mohammed and Johan say don't talk. And waiting, I re honorable colleague Yom Kela has just said, you understand? It boiled down or it come down to, you know, the, the it, under the context of what is called paternalistic arrogance by the government. Wow. Paternalistic arrogance. arrogance by the government. And that is to say, people are already in authority, you don't understand, refusing to take cognizance mm -hmm. of the concerns of the citizenry. Yeah. You don't understand. Yeah. And they care less about how the people in the field. That's exactly the way where the SLPP government they behave. Absolutely. Paternalistic arrogance. Absolutely. You don't Absolutely. understand. Yes. As a result, the people they really need for feel slighted. Everybody within we get in senses go feel very much like say, am I a Sierra Leonean? Mm -hmm. And that's how they are treating people as if they are the only Sierra Leoneans. Exactly. They were in a power. The could the first lady say you the the first lady say, say no more. Yes. Leonian. You were not to SLPP, you know the Sierra Leonean. Wow. It is this paternalistic arrogance then they take the lead the country. Wow. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. Be that as it may, nothing under the rubric of paternalistic arrogance can change or will change until. The only time we change the camp when there's a volcanic eruption. <laughs> <laughs> now the 10 days go face the ball. I see. And on hindsight, then go say, had we known of what we listened to the people. Yes. You are not the bosses of the people. You are the servants of the people. the people. And the only way to operate in a democratic polity is for you listening to the people. You don't understand and walk alongside waiting at the concerns with the people in the race. That's my conclusion of all this thing, of all waiting I get for sale. You know what, Mr. Yep. Kolifa Kroma, um, we waiting at the panel now, yeah? mm -hmm. along with the background team, including everybody with a view. Mm -hmm. People um, feel say this is one of our best. And uh, it's because of you and um, Mr. Mohamed 91 CC. A very good show. And your submission perfectly in place. Very intelligent, very articulating. And of course, very educative. We don't learn a lot in this short time. We hope so we will get you again. We'll get the opportunity <laughs> to bring you Naya. They can talk to me further about issues that will affect the country. Thank you very much. So, on behalf of the media team, we want to tell you plenty thank you for your time we take for can join me today. Thank you very much. We hope that we will get you very soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate and, you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, stay what there. Is, uh... Yeah, stay there. Thank you. And okay. we want to come over to one minute and twenty. Like we quick round up from you know what you see within um Yumkela just put now. So and like we just few words for conclude within um we all hear about now. So over to you, sir. Oh, man, um, uh, I think I got a few words for describe Yumkela now as the Yumkela we used to. At first, 
Yumkela be the play treadmill politics. You know the treadmill machine when you go to the gym. The wrong way, the wrong way. They tell you, you don't do 10, 10 miles, 20 miles, 30 miles. Now, lie. Now, I'm going to say, you know, no, sir. Now, that politics the Yumkela be introduced. That politics of duck and dive. They try for me, Kony Kony. But now, Yumkela don't see what is happening. They don't see the reality around. They don't see, see, you have to confront these people. I think. Other members of parliament should emulate this. Even within we own political party, they still the way they play some of their games. Then they, then they when are members of parliament today, then they where they go to bed with the devil, sleeping with the devil. Then they we know, we know as a party, we know as officials of the party, we are aware of many things then. Then they try for stiffful waiting where they do, then they try for whole covert meetings with them. If we they go this way, then they go that way. You are serving the people, yes, but you are a servant. You are serving under a political party. Now that party, they name you symbol, now you represent. So, and that party, they get ethos, the values. That party, they, like for the APs, you get the social open inclusive values. Yeah. And then we'd expect say, you for demonstrate that alongside where they reflect the views of you people. Yeah. Remember, you just get um, a small group of people there. Yeah. You do go meet other people in back we get small groups of people there. So now interest of a targeted community, now you they represent. So not forget say the party interest, it collates all the other interests there. Now each and every community for promote them. So for that, so the KKY in submission, it's a fantastic one. Uh, don't they see the like, let's hope it is stable. Let's hope um, it will continue for Duam. And let's hope other members of parliament can learn from that. I want to say, Luna, thank you for a fantastic platform. And I will tell you again, this TV media platform, to me, in my view, here is the best. Thank you very much, Owen Kasu and team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mohamed 91 CC. Um, I want to appreciate you and the time you take for coming to this platform. It's been long, we've been long awaited for we for getting a hassle. And we're happy today that we got you here and um, you know, articulate, articulate yourself very well. We just want to come quickly to Sweet Bonita for let, it just give you a roundup of waiting the, um, the viewers and think of this whole thing today. And then from there, we will call it today. Unmute yourself. Yeah, um, just a final run. We have it here from um, Israel. He said he's watching all the way from United States, right? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because apparently he did it on his um, sister's funeral. Oh. Yeah. Our condolences to you, Mr. Exactly, Isabella. yeah. Our condolences. Our condolences. Yeah. And also, um, the Queen of Bakshia is here with us this evening. Oh, the Queen of Bakshia from Red. Yeah, Red. what she's saying, APC, let's come together and speak in one voice. Well Absolutely. done for the media team and creating this platform. Absolutely. And also here we have from Clifford Kuruma, it says, Stay safe, senior comrades. And then here again, um, Queen of Bakshi again sending greetings to Mohammed91. ABC has stop hiding and behind your fingers. Be <laughs> bold and speak up. <laughs> and then Umar Kansu says, thank you all. So that's the last. And I'd like to say good evening to everyone again. Well, as you all know, every good thing must come to an end. And this is the end of this um, show for tonight. Uh, 19th of um, December 2021. Don't forget, next week Sunday will be around the 20, whatever, you know, 20, 26. 26 after Christmas Day. So we're going to get our last, probably our second to last show of the year, and then maybe next year. So we will probably get for think about a very interesting topic. But yeah, we are here again next week Sunday, same time seven o'clock going forward to nine o'clock and we want to say thank you to the viewers them we join me today we participate we give them comments them and all of that and we want to ask una una the viewers them please una just go on facebook una go to apc uk and ireland una press the three button the within the right hand corner and una press follow because you know what for the send una link every week once anytime we come live you they get beep, beep, now your phone will notify you for the APC UK and Ireland don't come live. For let you watch the program and follow the program. Now this will be big one for Lona do for me because we are big. 
the APC is big in the diaspora. This is the voice of the diaspora. What did Mr. Kolifano um, submit today with Mohamed 91 to say? Everybody the watch under the globe. Take go Australia, Canada, America, everywhere. People are watching it all over Europe. So we to make we make use of this platform, make the message to go across. One for tell thank you for our contributions to this, and one for tell the technical team plenty, plenty thank you for make this platform one of the best. Just like what Mohamed 91 they say. So we want for improve. We want to now feedback them. Please, we want for improve. We want to help we for improve. Any ideas, any help, we're here to listen and to improve this platform. So I want for once again tell you thank you on behalf of myself, the media team, and the sweet Bonita. Thank you very much. Till next time, I will leave you now with something like this. Da -da -da. Musa. Yes, my innocence. <laughs>
the award for the leader when the life pass for the leader of the world goes to I'm gonna call him, but I'm gonna stop him. Thank you for your life, family.